Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and um, in this video, I have, I'm going to be talking about mittens. I haven't 100% decided yet whether this video is going to be called Hi. Hot Mess Mittens or Hi. Mitten Madness. Hi. Oh, there's Flynn, and there he goes. Uh, real quick here, I finished blocking that shawl that I made a really long time ago. <laughs> I think I finished it like in May, but I just sat in my watermelon bag. Uh, this is a pattern called Easy Goes It. There's a video about me knitting it. It's made with Dever Norval Sock Yarn, Premier Yarn. I don't think I have any with the label anymore because I've caked it. Uh, but I can look it up and put it in the description. And this is the video. This is the shawl where I was fooling around with my yarn overs and made weird yarn overs. And then I realized what I was doing, or Tammy told me, and I fixed it. But you see what I mean? This shawl very much looks like that Galaxy New Paths shawl. But here it is. I really love these colors. Um, so that is that. That is on Juanita while I um, do my video. So I decided I wanted to make some mittens. Um, I hadn't made mittens in a really, really long time, and the one time I tried, I failed, and they were horrible. So I looked up a few patterns and got started. The first one I found, and of course I'll put a link in the description for these patterns, it's called Mittens for Mommy. Um, this was a very complicated pattern. Um, I would say probably for an intermediate crocheter. There is some changes that I would like to do, but the first thing that I came across when crocheting this, and I double checked to see if I printed this wrong or whatnot, was um, I wasn't able to find a thumb hole. I'll put these mittens on for you. A place to put the thumb, or since I learned in another pattern, a thumb, a thumb gusset. This is what these mittens look like. Um, I made them with, get my finger in here. I did find a thumb hole, but I'm gonna tell you what I did. I made these mittens with, I love this yarn, deep sea diving. And if you can sort of see right there, there's this puff stitch, popcorn stitch pattern. And as you can see, it's off center. So at, what you do when you make this pattern is you start right about here and you single crochet up. Let me take one of these off so you can see better. And you I, half double, pardon me, you half double. Then when you get to about here, you start this pattern. The first thing that I would have liked to change is there is a chain one before each and between each popcorn. Um, I live in a very cold climate and I feel like those little holes will let the cold in. I think if you live somewhere where it's like 40, 30 degrees and you're not that cold, maybe it's not that big of a deal, but I think it's been like negative 20 in Wisconsin. Um, so you follow this pattern and it has like half um, back loop so it gives you this cute little line. It's really cute. You can't really see it as well because it's this pattern of the, the yarn. This is what this side of it looks like. So as I was going along up to the top, the next part of the pattern talks about how to do the cuff. And the cuff is back post, front post, double crochets or half double crochets. And I'm like, where the flip am I supposed to put the thumb? And I kept reading the pattern, I kept looking. Somehow, there's no slot, or either I missed it, for the thumb. So what I did, because you technically should have these two ridges running no. down your hand, is I put my thumb through one of the holes, one of those chain ones, next to the popcorn, and I just started crocheting around and just stuck a little thumb off the side of it. It's horrible. So these are my hot mess mittens. I um, have since looked through and I still cannot find where they want you to put the thumb. Because I just feel like this having a thumb way down here before the cuff is too far down. And they have you doing all these rows of half double crochet. So if I were to do this again, I would follow the pattern that I'll show you last and add my own little thumb spot here, right down here, and then continue it because these little ridges are kind of cute. Um, and then I also would not put the chain one 
in between so that the popcorns would all be right next to each other. So this was my first attempt, and this, like I said, was mittens for mommy. She has, uh, these were on, this is Beatrice Ryan's design. If you print this pattern off or you do it and you find the thumb, let me know. So that was my first mitten. The next mittens I started, um, crochet mitten pattern. I found this off of Ravelry. I don't have the designer on here. I just typed in easy crochet and then crochet mitten pattern came in. And I made these. It's a worsted, it calls for loops and thread, charisma, sunny day. 6.5 crochet hook. And this is the size the mittens came up. And I felt like these were a little small. Um, so Flynn stole them. He said he wanted them. Overall, this is a great kid pattern. This fits my six-year-old boy and my 10-year-old boy. And it's all single crochets. They do have you leave a spot right here for the thumb. Actually, you know what they do? First you do, just like if you're gonna do a, a hat from the bottom up, where you do the half double crochets in the back loop only, and then you seam it. And then you, you start your crocheting all the way around. Um, you have to poke a hole in there. And I hate doing that because I always feel like you have these little places where you get these like little tiny holes. I mean, it's not too big of a deal, but it's not solid. And then you crochet in around. And then when they get here, she has you make like a little bridge to create your thumb. And then you do your thumb. And then you come back, you finish off and you come back and then you do around this part here up to the top. So these are two very cute mittens. Flynn loves them. Um, I like how the yarn, oh, I, let me real quick, oh, here it is. Oh, I'm like Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter. I have all my ball bands. Um, the yarn I use for this is Premier Devil Norval, Norval Serenity Baby. And I'm really happy with how the, the yarn, I mean, it actually almost looks like a pair of mittens. So um, yeah, they came out pretty close to matching. So I made those and then Flynn stole them. <laughs> I think it's hilarious as Jer wants these mommy mittens. <laughs> I think that's funny. I said, sure, you can have them. Fit him a little bit better because his thumb's a little smaller than mine. And I jam my thumb in a chain one space. So I'll put a link in the description to this. I'll try to find it on Ravelry. And that is the second pattern. Like I said, I feel like this is better for a child. Not a small child, but you know, a mid-sized child. The one that where my children age group are and then the final pattern that I found for mittens I love it um, I've made two pairs already and this is called this is Bernat softy chunky mitten and scarf found it on Ravelry um, I made my first mitten here look at how good that is I mean it is really good <laughs> I'm so impressed with myself ah! and I made it with the same yarn Maddie wants these. Um, and they're, I mean, the thumb is perfect. This pattern is perfect. Um, you do the same kind of thing here where you crochet eight across and you do it in the half. You do the half, or I think these are single crochets in the back loop. The thing about this pattern is it does not give you stitch numbers, it gives you inches. So you do uh, seven inches of this, and then they do not have you seam it together. What you end up doing is putting, and just like I did in that other pattern, you have to evenly space out in that seven inch thingy, 25 stitches, and then you crochet back and forth. The whole pattern of the mitten is like it's laid out. And then they have you do the gusset of the um, thumb, which is essentially a process of having two stitches together and growing the width of it out and then you can see how these I always wondered how they do them so it comes across here it grows out and it goes back then after you stop once you hit that certain number and then you go across this way in the round or no you're still doing flat then when you get up to the top guess what you do friends you fold the mitten in half you sew up one side and then you come over here to where your little hole was and you just do a few rows of that. It was so easy. 
I'm so happy. So these mittens here, I made obviously a pair. Hey, stop. And then today, just this morning, I made another pair of mittens. And these stop. mittens, stop. let me real quick pause and tell you the brand of yarn. Okay. These mittens are made from Hobby Lobby's I Love This Chunky. And, um, perfect. I mean, I just love this pattern. So today is actually Sunday afternoon. I, <laughs> I started making mittens Saturday, no, sat Friday night. Friday night, I started these mittens. I couldn't find the thumb hole. I got upset. I went to bed. I woke up Saturday, made my own thumb hole. Then I did some searching and I found the second pattern. So I made those mittens and then I did some searching and I found the third pattern. And then I made these last Saturday night. I made these ones Sunday morning. This video is coming out to you on a Monday and I'm actually in the process of making one more pair. Hopefully, because this really awesome pattern calls for chunky yarn, and I really wanted to make some out of my Loops and Thread Barcelona. They claim this is a bulky, but it's not as bulky as the other. So I'm starting another mitten set. Hopefully I can finish these today. See what I mean, friends, about how this goes across? You do your ribbing down here at the bottom, and then you just go back and forth, and you do two stitches together, or two in one hole. You make this little part two in another, and you end up folding it over and sewing it up that way. This is the start of your thumb. It's just a perfect pattern. So I'm trying it in this Barcelona, and I hopefully tonight will have finished a pair for myself. And then because I'm a super nice mom, I'm going to use my ice yarn and make Jaren another pair of mittens that aren't the mommy me. I mean, he can still wear those and those will go in the bin. Because remember, like I said, I'm trying to pump out the mass quantity amount of mittens so that we don't have this disaster every morning of nobody having mittens or gloves. I mean, it's like negative 20 degrees. They need some mittens or gloves, but I can't do fingers. So this is my project this weekend. I feel pretty good in about a day and a half, I've made four pairs of mittens and I've started my fifth. Um, so that is what I've been doing this weekend. The last weekend in January is making mittens. Um, then when I get back, um, so my daughter sees a math tutor on Sunday afternoons after church. And, um, oh, I'm using my Happy Crafter bag for my mittens this weekend. So while she's tutoring, um, it's actually one of my co-workers' daughters that tutors her. So um, because I work at a little Christian school, I just go in there, her daughter comes in there, they tutor, and I work in my classroom. Well, today, instead of working, I just made mittens. But when I came back, I had a package. I completely forgot. Look at how big it is, friends. Ah, I'm so excited. I wish, I wish I could be like, um, so sometimes I watch pet YouTubers. I know. Why? I don't know. Because we can't have pets. Jerry's allergic to every type of animal or animal bedding in the world. But they're always like, thumbnail. So I don't know. Maybe that'll be a thumbnail. Thumbnail. I really, what will have to have to happen is my husband will have to take a picture of me. <laughs> okay, so this is from Tara Lynn. Uh, she comments in a few of my videos. I do remember a while ago she asked me for my address. And she was the one that actually got me starting about thinking about whether or not I should have a P.O. box. Which my husband thinks I should. So I will be getting that rolling. Um, so I opened the top of it. And right at the top is my favorite wool ease. Oh my gosh, I love this yarn. I should make myself a pair of mittens out of this. Because I, I snagged four of them from my Walmart. The last four they had. And uh, apparently I was not going to share with anybody else in Oshkosh. So we're going to open up the card. Oh, it's kittens and yarn. Look at how cute that is. This, oh, holy cats. It's a very long, I'm going to quick read this and zip back to you guys. 
Okay, so I, I mean, sometimes you have to pre-read these to make sure you're not exposing personal facts. But it's super sweet. Um, she's Instagram, YouTube, and crochet. I chat with her on Instagram and YouTube. And she said she loves my channel and all that I've taught her about yarn and crochet. And she thought she'd send me some of her favorite yarns. And then when she was at Walmart, she saw my new favorite yarn. And she grabbed some of those for me and some of her favorite crochet hooks. And then she made me something and something for my daughter and son. So that will be nice. And then she's just thanking me again. And her and her husband. She signed out, love, Tara Lynn, her husband, and her pigs. She's got some guinea pigs and a, chin ch and a chihuahua. So that is super nice. Thank you so much. So this, of course, is that wonderful yarn. And now that I'm in this mitten-making mood, I'm for sure making another pair out of those. Okay, so let's see what we have in here. Everything's so nicely bagged up. This one says summer. So I'm assuming this one's for me. Oh, and I love, love these colors. Look at that. Isn't that nice? That is very nice and bright. I wonder if I can get it around twice. I sure can. And I can make it, oh, ooh, isn't that cute? I can make it like a little hoodie because um, I have to stand outside for recess and it is freezing out there for recess. So thank you. Hey. Look how cute that is, you guys. I bet you, isn't that nice? This will be nice for when I'm standing outside watching kids play for 20 minutes. Well, excellent. I love it. Very, very nice. Fold that one up. Let's see what I got over here. Flinny, do you want to see somebody made something that you can have? I'm going to guess, and I'm not trying to be stereotypical, this may be a boy, a boy cow. Come over here, buddy. Somebody made this for us. One of our subscribers. Ooh. Uh oh, you keep. We'll have to talk to Daddy about that. Look at there's a couple, Flinny. Some. Look at these. They're like scarfs for boys. Come on over. Which one do you want to try on? Um. Let's move Juanita so you can get in here. Which one? That one. Okay, yeah. come on here. Stand right here so that she can see you. Wow! Won't that be nice for when you're playing outside? Okay. Well, those are nice. I could use these as underwear. <laughs> you could use them like oh. underwear. And that is the beauty of children right there for you folks. Wow, why don't you go show Jer one of these, buddy, and tell him that, look, our subscribers sent, sent us this present. No. Flynn thinks this is YouTube channel, too. Well, it is his, isn't it, you guys? And then here's some, ooh, some beautiful, oh my gosh, I love this one too. Here's some beautiful cowls that Maddie, and maybe me. Wow, look at that. I love this yarn. Isn't that nice? Oh my goodness, Maddie will love these. Very nice. Look at that one. These are nice, even stitches. You have great tension. Very nice. So these beauties, oh, I love Mom, this one. Holy I cats. I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay, good job, bud. I love this one. I maybe even could wear this one too. Look how beautiful those colors are. Okay, that is nice. And then there's more yarn. Oh, here's the crochet hooks. Huh. Let's pull them out. Well, there's a lot of crochet hooks in here. You can't open it. Use uh, These are my sewing scissors. These are the ones I hide from my kids. There's this little drawer on this side of my sewing desk that they can't see because it kind of like tucks too far back. It doesn't hang off the edge. And so I can put sharp scissors in there. Oh, very nice. These are the ergonomic boy hooks. An H, an I, and a J. I've, I love this one. I've never seen. My Walmart doesn't have um, the ergonomic um, plastic ones for boy. They just have a bunch of metal. Um, so this will be nice to try these out. Thank you. 
In fact, uh, the mittens I've been making lately call for an I and a J. So I'll make my next set with these hooks and that yarn. Oh my, <gasps> ooh, these are beautiful. Holy Toledo. Look at this color. This is wool spun lion's pride. Um, honey, look at that. Isn't that nice? And there's two of those. And then look at this. Oh my gosh, do I love this. This is Lion's Brand Texture Ocean Waves. I love that. Look at that. And then Lion's Brand um, Quarry Print. Look at that. Which will go very nicely with these. Coffee. Very nice. I love all these bags. You must have known that there was a snowstorm coming and these could have gotten caught. We got 10 to 12 inches. That's supposed to be a coming. Luckily, I got this package today because my ice yarn got delayed one day because of our snowstorm last week. And, friends, you're not even going to believe this. There's another bag of yarn down here. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at these colors. Oh, my gosh. I love them. I don't even know what I'm going to make. I'm just planning in my mind while I'm looking at them. Okay, so this is plum beautiful. This one is orchid. Mm. And this next one, what is this one? Violet. Wow. And I should be telling you all, these, all these yarns, these wool spuns are uh, 127 yards. Um, here I am scanning the thing again. 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Oh my goodness, these are beautiful. This, this might make a really nice virus shawl. These, tucking these in, back in these bags. Wow, oh my gosh, you see how pretty these look together all in this bag? What a wonderful gift, Tara Lynn. I can't even believe it. And then, down here at the bottom, this is what I screeched. Look at these. I love these. What are they called? These are Red Heart. Um, I saw this, and it actually reminds me of this right here. Casualty over there. Do you remember when I made this hat and said it? We got this yarn from our knit crate. This yarn reminds me of, of that. Very nice. And this is called Banana Berry. Is this a stripe? Super saver? Just variegated. So there's three of the banana berry. Take off my hat now. And this last one, frosty green fleece. Look at that, you guys. It has like these flecks in it. Like um like tweed. Is that tweed or heathering? Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I'm so happy and I feel so blessed and thank you so much, Tara. Holy cats, this is a lot of yarn. Wow. And this is a really nice box, I might add. That was a safe, safe box purchase choice. So that, that is what, wow, I'm blown away. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's what my video is. Um, this was my Mitten Madness video. I think I'm going for the title to be Hot Mess Mittens because that first pair was a hot mess. And any of you who um, find that mommy pattern and want to look and challenge yourself to find the thumb hole, um, you can post to, um, uh, well, you can email me at Summer's Tips and Stitches Gmail. Um, your, your mittens if you found the thumb hole and where to put it. Or I also have my Instagram. It's Summer's Tips and Stitches. And I try my best to keep up with how many followers. Um, and if it looks like I see somebody from somebody else's page that's a crocheter or a knitter that I recognize from other YouTubes, I snatch them and I follow them. I really love looking at other people's work. I mean, the, I, everybody are such great 
um, artists. And I mean, just look at this. This, you have wonderful craftsmanship in your stitches. This is very nice. So that's all my video is for today. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do on Thursday. Thanks for all the compliments on my hair. Um, I got really lucky and I have this really great gal that I hop over to cost cutters to. Believe it or not, she's in a cost cutters and I tell her I want my hair to look like the first season, season one, Regina from Once Upon a Time. Now it doesn't look exactly like it, but it looks like this and I love it. And usually this haircut lasts a couple months and then I gotta go back in. And uh, sometimes I leave if she's not there because I don't wanna gamble with bad hair. It's nice because my hair is thinning and this extra body up here kinda hides that. So thank you all for all the kind words in regards to my hair. And thank you, Tara Lynn, for this wonderful blessing of kindness and kind words and wonderful yarn. And check out those mitten patterns, you guys. And I highly recommend this Burnett Soft and Chunky's Mittens and Scarf. I highly recommend it. It's a wonderful pattern. And then I can let you know on my next video how this pattern works with worsted weight yarn rather than chunky, because that's what my next pair is, and just regular worsted weight. Okay, well thank you for watching and subscribing and sharing my videos, and when you get this video, the next day is my anniversary, and I think I'm gonna go live at seven o'clock. I should've started that out. Shoot. Well, spread the word. I think I'm gonna do a live at about seven o'clock on Tuesday, the 29th, my one year anniversary, I have a little surprise um, giveaway that I'll be doing in the video. And um, thank you everybody and happy crafting. Bye. Bye, happy crafting. Bye, and he's got his cowl on. Ooh, that's a very close. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. If you lasted that long, that was a treat. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>